Hey, welcome back to a JSON's YouTube video. Four years ago, I made a mining script for new players. Well, guess what? This is the updated version. I'm going to cover how to do a script, how to do an in-game macro if you don't like scripts, and also how to update your UI a little bit so it's easier to gather. What I've done here is I have went ahead and opened up my data folder for Ultima Online, and I, de I deleted my JC Supply settings. So hopefully we don't get anything when we log in here. Let's uh, see what it looks like. Uh, sure enough, it's looking okay. We're off to the side here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that we're centered up on the screen. I don't know why it's doing that, but... Okay, so we logged into our new profile, and what I wanted to cover is just basically how to start off with a as a new character that's wanting to gather. And I'm going to first cover how to do it without a script. You double click a pickaxe, it will automatically equip it. And if you double click it in your hand, it's going to attempt to mine. So what we can do is we can hit Alt-O, and we can go to Macros, and we can say New Macro, and we're going to call it Gathering. Uh, and what we want to do is just use item in hand. If you scroll kind of halfway down, it's called this one right here, Use Item in Hand. We're going to click in this little box and hit P. If we hit P on our keyboard, that is going to use the item in our hand. So here we go. We do not see any any or available now it's hard to read the system messages at least for me so what we're going to do is we're actually going to add some overheads so what i want to do is make a new profile here i'm just going to call it uh youtube mining example and what this does is it gives us a default profile with none of the settings enabled and one of the things i want to do is go to overhead i'm sorry display counters and then overhead messages we're going to click show and I can search in here, and what I want to do is scroll down to the bottom and add this. You do not see any harvestable resources nearby. Select Add. And we'll say Move to Next Spot. And we can set the hue as a, you know, we'll say 77 here. So if I hit P on the keyboard, now instead of having to look at the resource messages, uh, we can just go ahead and see it over our character. So again, no scripts. Nothing really fancy at the moment. Once we start mining, we will actually be able to add some additional overheads. Here we go. So you dig some iron ore and put in your backpack. So same thing, we can go back to this now and say search. If I scroll down to the bottom, dig some iron ore. I can click add. And what we can say is uh, display the text. We can say iron ore. So that's just a basic example. And now we should be able to see iron ore above our character. Fantastic. You loosen some rocks but fail, uh, we can actually add that as well. So search and system messages, scroll down, loosen some rocks but fail. Click add and we'll say failed. And we'll click the loosen, set hue, and we'll do it in 38 because it's red. And now we hit P here, we should see either iron ore or fail to gather. Great. Now there's other types of ore. And so our current system message check will only look <laughs> for the you dig some iron ore. And you can actually change this if you want to be more generic, or you can add them as you get them so they're very specific for the ore you want. One of the things that we did in a previous version of our live streams is we made a gatherer, and I posted that, that script uh, as an auto miner on the website. So if you go to this URL here, outlands, you know, outlands.uraiscripts.com slash minerbot, you, we can no longer move from Outlands, actually remove that command. However, the this script still works, and this client gump is an example of the counters. Counters are, are what is what this is down here. So if you wanted to update your counters, we could do that as well. And then the other thing was the Razor profile gumps. And basically it includes all of the hues and the messages related to digging. So here's some examples. So we just added you dig some iron ore and put in your bag. These are all the different ones that you could potentially add. And then these hues are actually the hues of the material itself. So if you don't want it to be green and you actually want it to be in the correct hue, you could take the hues there and make it look pretty. Now, if if we're in the game, we actually can't edit this settings profile while we're in the game. So I'm just going to log out real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to take these system messages and then we're going to edit it in our XML. Now, I know this is kind of like over the top craziness so you don't have to follow along here but this is we're basically going into our profiles and then we made that youtube mining example profile so if i scroll down to where the overhead messages are we can actually paste these in here if i paste these in now i can go ahead and delete the you dig some iron ore because we don't need that anymore and if i hit save here it will save for me because i actually have this in 
uh, a C games folder. If you have it in a programs folder, I actually have another video. I'll bring it up here on the screen that you can check out to know how to edit this. But basically you need to open it as an admin if you haven't done that before. Now, if I log back in, we should see more messages in our XML. Just kidding, I didn't actually close the game down. So we needed to close the game down, that's on me. There we go, close the game down. Now we can log in. I needed to fully close the game. So now when I hit P on the keyboard, you failed to gather iron ore in the correct uh, thing and then move to the next spot. And I'm just hitting P on the keyboard. So this <laughs> this is a uh, minimal work. Take advantage of some overhead messages and some pretties. Now I could drag this and then plop it here as well. This is the, the counters gump, but we can actually do the same thing and log off and then take it from the website. We go over to the gumps.xml and then we take this gump. Now we're gonna go, instead of plugin assistant, we're actually gonna go into our, our profile itself and we're gonna go into gumps. We can just replace this control type is three. I had saved here, then I log back in. It now has this updated gump UI. Hopefully that makes sense. If you need more detail, definitely check out the video where we move data around. Be sure to check out the website. I do have instructions there. But what we did was we just dynamically changed our file. We're hitting P here and iron ore. You can see our counts go up, failed to gather. Okay, so, so far so good. And now what we were gonna do is we're gonna do a simple, simple script, okay? So if I go over to like our just YouTube series and I go mining, and I click new and I'm going to say this is a, a simple mining example. OK, and what we want to do is the kind of the exact same thing we're doing in our macro. And we're going to say hockey use item in hand. I could just hit save. And if we play this script, it's correctly just mining away. OK, so we can wait for 500 milliseconds and then loop. And if we wait here, it's basically just mining away constantly. Now, if we, if all we do is the 500, on a lot of servers, what would happen is the CAPTCHA code would pop up and then you would get banned. On Outlands, they actually made it so the CAPTCHA code stops any scripts from executing. So if even if you're running a simple script like we have here, this won't get you banned. Once the CAPTCHA pops up, it will stop the script. As you can see, we got some bronze ore here. Let's go failing to gather root. Now, if you can see my weight is getting a little bit higher, nowhere near done. But with a script, this is where you can start to do some additional logic, right? So some, some people might say, can we track, right? And then somebody say, can we stop when we are overweight? You know, and then another person might say, can we auto recall? Another person, can we hide? Another person might say, can we add it to a pack horse. Uh, another person might say, can we smelt? Right, they, this is how the scripting life goes. You start very simple, and then you kind of start adding in additional logic. So we're not gonna add that all in this video. However, I am gonna take the ultimate miner from the website. So if you just hit home, auto miner, clicking this mining hotkey, clicking copy script, going back over to our very basic example, I'm just gonna do mining, new, and we're gonna say ultimate. Miner. I'm going to paste that bad boy in there. I'm going to hit save. And now when I look at this, the script thinks you're stuck. There's some things here in the script that no longer are necessary. But the major thing is if you think the script isn't ever working, you want to go over to filters and make sure that this text and messages filter doesn't have filter repeat system messages checkmarked. Okay. That's the number one problem with a lot of my gathering scripts. Make sure this is unchecked. Anyway, we're going to set this as a hotkey. So I'm going to click ultimate minor and we're going to set hockey and I'm just going to hit two on the keyboard. Okay. Now if I hit two, it's going to activate, going to activate uh, the script. It's saying no bandages. Why is it saying no bandage? Do I have healing on this character? I do. I have a little bit of healing. So if you have healing, it actually can heal as well. Anyway, so what this script is doing is it's telling you to move to mine. Now this is a lot of overheads, Jace. I know. If you don't like all the overheads, you can turn them off. You can just search for overhead and you can comment things out. Just add a little hashtag in front of it, okay? Anyway, what the script is doing again, it's just mining nonstop. What it can do then as well is it can actually smelt your ore. So when it gets near a, as bad a town because you can't mine while you're in town. As soon as it gets next to a forge, 
that it can find, it will see how it just said check for natural forge. Unfortunately, Razor can't find the these forges. They actually turn these off. So my script kind of tries to randomly smelt. And so if we stand here long enough, it will actually automatically smelt as well. See, we got our smelty going on. Nice, telling us to move out of town. Anyway, so you don't have to use a script. You can make your own script or you can use a pre-made script. This is the too long didn't read. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this makes sense. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have any other scripts that you want me to cover or show an example of, be sure to let me know in the comments as well. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 to 9. Join the Discord if you're not in there already. Peace.